Hello, this is uh, a quick tutorial covering how to create the LCD CRT looking face, um, which I showed briefly in another video. Okay, let's get into it. First, I'm going to delete the uh, camera and light, because why not? I'm going to use the default cube, select it, go into edit mode, I'm going to scale restricting, uh, that's shift Y, just to scale on everything but the Y axis. I'm going to scale on the X as well, just to bring it to that kind of 4-3 type ratio. And we're going to control 2, so we have our subdivision surfaces. Going back into edit mode, adding a few edge loops, and maybe scaling this out a little on the Y so we get a bit more depth there. Just compensate by scaling everything down a bit. Okay, we have the basis of the curvature of our main front screen. So let's commit our subdivision surface modifier. Go in, select two on the keyboard, select our edge loops, shift D, so we have our edge here, and P, and separate by selection. Now we can, if we hide the, uh, 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 if we hide everything but that, we can go in and hit F on the keyboard to fill, and then we have our back screen element. I'm going to switch on to orthographic mode, and I'm going to go about creating some of the facial features. So I'm just going to shift right click. Add a circle. Going to keep most of the settings the same except for fill type nothing to end gone. Cool. It's going to rotate along the X minus 90 degrees. I'm going to grab it and move it a little bit in front and scale it down. Okay, looks good. Oh, just jumped out of auto perspective. Let's just correct that. Navigation. Boink. Okay, cool. Let's go back to orthographic. Uh, we're just going to duplicate by Alt D, so it retains all of the object data. Alt D, the other eye, and Alt D for a mouth. Okay, things are getting uh, a little bit tricky to see, so let's set up some materials. I'm just going to call this one blank, and I'm going to change it to an emissive material. Let's go with a green, super dark green. Let's switch on EV so we can see what's going on. With this, let's go for a super bright green. Uh, let's just call it green. Emission, emission, emission. There we go. Let's go to our EV settings, switch on bloom. Nice. Yeah, serious bloom. Okay. Now with our back sort of plate thing here, we're just going to shift D duplicate along the wire a little bit. I'm going to give it its own material. I'm going to call it screen. Let's just drag out another area so we can have our see our shader set up. See our shader set up. And start building out our shader. We're going to drop the emission. We're going to add a transparency. We're going to add a diffuse. We're going to add a mix. And we're going to link these all together and plug it into our shader. And we need something to drive the factor input here. So let's load up a br brick. Plug it in. Um, I'm just going to set up a mapping node here, Control T, if you have Node Wrangler enabled, which is a very snazzy add-on, and I'm going to change it to UV. Now, this doesn't really have any UVs yet, so what I'm going to do is just do, um, with it in orthographic mode, looking directly at it, I'm going to hit U on the keyboard and just project from view. Cool, we have a brick wall. Now let's change the settings a little bit. Crank both the colors up to white. Offset, just one. 
Brick width, we go nuts. 25, yep, sweet. Row height. Start, you know, but you know what I mean. Start tweaking in the settings so you get this nice scan line effect. Okay, but we can't see anything through, so let's go to our material tab here and on blend mode. And do alpha clip for nice sort of hard edges or alpha blend. I'm going to do alpha clip here. Change our diffuse down to nothing, down to black. Cool. It's a nice sort of effect going on. Now we need some other, some more kind of blocking elements so we can animate and express more on our face. So with our cursor in the same space as we had it before, let's add a plane. Again, rotate on the X minus 90. And make sure we are in front of not the screen element, but the um, but everything else. Scale that down just to cover like so. And let's con uh, shift click our background element. I'm just going to control L to link our materials. Um, and while we're at it, I'm going to have the screen with the screen and the background selected. I'm going to restrict those so they are not editable. I'm just going to wireframe mode here. Actually, I can drag this back out a bit. Whoop! And we can set up the blanking areas. So I'm going to move this up. Alt D, Alt D, Alt D, and finally Alt D. Let's move that up a little bit. These as well are kind of big, so we can scale those. As long as we're on individual origins, we can just scale by Y. Okay, looking good. Switch back on EV. And you can see we kind of have our face already laid out. So let's Finish it up by adding our screen back in, giving that a material. Um, not our screen, what are we going to call it? Our, our screen, I can't think of another word, but um, let's just call it screen cover. Did I change the material here? No, cool. Um, back into the shader layout here. We're going to switch this to, right, we're going to just delete, we're going to delete this, add in a glossy, add in a transparency, not mix, but add them together. Roughness super low, but not zero. Wow, that's bright. Um, and transparency to alpha blend. Just smoothing, I've just switched from EV to uh, the material view here. Just gonna crank down this a little bit. Let's change the HDR as well. Cool. Now let's set up some parenting. So we're going to go to wireframe mode to make this a little bit easier. So with the overall screen cover selected, we're just going to select all, hit control P and parent to object so that things can move, we can move things together like that. Okay, that's the basic rig, but let's set up the mouth to react to some audio. So I'm going to add an empty in here. I'm going to give it a keyframe location. I'm just going to slide open here for the graph editor, making sure also, let's just move that to frame one. Let's select the Z location, but it's arbitrary really. Um, 
And let's bake sounds to F curves. Cool, we have our sound file here. But we can't hear anything, that's fine, because we also need to add the sound clip to the video sequencer. Again, making sure we're on frame one. Just going to add sound. Here we go. Thank you for giving me life. I will totally not kill you now. Cool. Let's just select our mouth. Get a bit more space here. Bring up the uh, transforms and we're going to add a driver to the Z. Add driver. And the object we want is our empty. And the location we want is Z. So if we play through now, you can see that... Thank you for giving me life. I will totally not kill you now. But there's a problem. It's moving in, in the inverse of what we expect. So let's just correct that by changing our variable here. Let's just delete that. And we're going to go with times minus one. Getting closer. It's also minus 0.3. Cool, I think we're done. Thank you for giving me life. I will totally not kill you now. Now let's just add a little bit of animation to the eyes and we're ready to go. And there we have it, our finished animation. Thank you for giving me life, I will totally not kill you now. Thank you for giving me life, I will totally not kill you now. Thank you for giving me life, I will totally not kill you now. Thank you for giving me life, I will totally not kill you now.